Well, I haven't posted for YouTube in a long, long time. Let me get something to drink. Um, let's put it this way. This is my excuse to what I'm saying. I'm on vacation. Well, you know, I don't, look, let's make like I'm on vacation. So um, if I'm vacationing, I need to be at the seaside, I suppose. So Musenberg, the, the sea is over that way. So I'm at a seaside resort. <laughs> no, I'm at a, um, um, being bed and breakfast, no, not bed and breakfast. What do you, what do you call that? The, the, the sharing. Anyway, I, I have a room in this little thing. Very reasonable. Hey, cause I want to see this concert tonight. Well, this 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 musical group that's playing tonight. Well, I'm gonna cut this thing straight just a second. Okay. Um, so I so I got this. It's actually pretty cheap. It's like uh, three three fifty, uh, three fifty a night, something like that. Anyway, it's it's good. Well, three three rand three fifty. This is different than American money. But you know what I haven't done is posted on the. YouTube in quite a while. I, I know you you still you still get my scheduled uh, Gullah readings and uh, my Sunday sermons, uh, maybe some other stuff. So, but this is the first that I'm doing in like months. And you know it's me because I did that. I'm drinking Amarula right now. It's a South African drink, like it's a cream liquid, a uh, uh, cream uh, with uh, Mar uh, Marula spirits. Amarula, anyway, it's very popular. Sort of sweet. I went to uh, I went shopping, right? And uh, I like it. Hold on, wait a second. I like it. It's just like a creamy, like milky, creamy thing. But all my okay, I went shopping. Let me see what I did first. I went to the checkers, right? I was looking for one specific thing. But of course, you know, stuff happens. So I went there. Of course, I go to the fruit first, and they have figs. Oh, uh, so I got my figs, right? That's for the morning. And also, you know, I got avocado. That'll be in the morning, too, because I have my fruits in the morning, you know? Um, but here's what happened. Oh, also, this is, I haven't seen this any place yet. But I got a, I got a dragon fruit. Aha! So I'm going to have a dragon fruit with avocado and fig in the morning. Maybe I'll get an apple, too. Who knows? Uh, do that. Put this here so it won't blow away. Um, I'm in the backyard of where I'm playing. You know, they have a little backyard. It's very nice. Very nice. I think I'm the only guest. Yay! She's a student. She's like a postgraduate student doing, you know, academic work. You know, you know how those academic peoples are. Okay. Okay. So, so, so then, of course, I was in checkers for this stuff. But I went checkers specifically because I know they have the coconut water I want. Right? And, uh, I was in Cape Town over in, well, they had run out, and then they stocked up. Was, but this is um, this is the brand. I didn't notice, but this this Simply Truth brand, this is the brand for Checkers South Africa, right? And the reason why I like this coconut water so much is because, well, it's sourced from uh, Vietnam. For me, I've tasted all kinds of coconut water from what, Brazil, uh, Puerto Rico, uh, uh, India, all over the place, you know. I'm not going to want, yeah, the one I hate is Philippines. Yuck, they're terrible. <laughs> Um, but the best one I know, the one that I, that suits my palate. Speaking of palate, for a second, uh, suits my palate is the one from uh, um, from Vietnam for some strange reason. So I got two of these small ones, and they have the big ones. I don't. This checkers is right up the way, so I can always. I didn't want to haul a lot of stuff, but I also got some nuts. I haven't had my nuts in a long time, you know. Like I, I got raw cashew, raw pistachio, they call them kernels, uh, raw macadamia. No, I don't do raw, I don't do it. Or another raw cashews, because I like cashews, because cashews is always on top of the list, right? And because I got, oh, because I got the fruit, you know, you know how much you got to do these days when you get your fruit, no matter what it is, skin and all, you put it in all the water, you mix up, but you use some uh, bicarbonate soda or, you know, um, uh, baking soda, you know, to, to rinse your fruit because then all the pesticides from, you know, even the avocado before it's cut or whatever, you put it in the water and that's supposed to get rid of a lot of the pesticides they use, at least on the outside. So I got a little bit of bicarbonate soda for that. Um, then, then what happened? Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened, right? So I was walking and I'm going down to all the aisles. I haven't been to that checker, so I got to check it out for just a second. So I'm walking down the aisle. And what do I find? I've been looking all over the planet for this. 
black cherry fruit. This is from a, a, a company in France. Um, I first noticed this. Well, I used to get this in when I was in Cape Town all the time, right? But now I can't find it anyplace. Then when I went to, um, uh, when I was in, uh, uh, well, I'm in you know, King Williamstown, well, then Basel, but King Williamstown, East of Case, they used to carry this at the um, pick and pay down there, but not the checkers down there. So anyway, this is the first time I've seen this thing in months. I can't find it in the United States. Black cherry jam fruit preserves, or whatever they call it, extra fruit jam, whatever they call it. This is the best. So since I got that, I naturally had to get what I'm going to eat it, but I don't really put it on bread. So I got some lightly salted crackers, which I like. I had this before. I like the lightly salted, salted crackers. But then I'm going to say, hey, I'm on vacation. I'm drinking milky stuff. My weight's too far down. No, it's not too far down. One out there spread. So I got some cream cheese. I put cream cheese crackers and the um, black cherry fruit. See? See how that works? Hey, I'm on vacation. Things are happening good for me, right? When you say, well, what, what, wait, brother. You ain't been in, in, in doing your tasking, your task in Dumbaza for quite a while. So what do you mean you're on vacation? Are you always on vacation? No, no, no. See, let me tell you something. When I was taking, taking extension courses from um, from Trenton, uh, Trenton, Uni Trenton, Trenton College, Trenton University, whatever, Trenton in, 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 in New Brunswick, they had these extension courses while I was in service. And we had a, we had a, a philosophy. I took history of, it was a history of philosophy, logic, and oh, oh, and comparative religion from this guy, Dr. Roy Clauser. Peace and blessings on that brother. I don't know where he's at, but you know. Anyway, and when I was there, I just, Oh, man, it just evolved. I mean, I just it opened up a lot of things. Like if you if you're studying, just learn Aristotelian logic, you know, Aristotelian ways, and then that was a breeze you right through school, right? But what he used to say to us, Bill, see, that the 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 school was pressuring him to have office hours, something like that. Then he says, you know, he he got he got he was he was he was upset, so he's talking to us. When we was in class. He said, don't they know? I do my work in here. I do my work in here. And then he went, he said, I'll go back to driving the Pepsi Cola truck. <laughs> I said, whoa, we go like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But since then, I realized you do your work in here, you know. Uh, yeah, you were here inspired by, you know, the great spirit, you know. And then when you start writing stuff down, then, then, then you know, great spirit ain't got no hands. Or so he's used to using you to write stuff down, you know. Because, you know, great spirit ain't got no mouth. Great spirit ain't got no arms and legs. And so you like the vessel. That's what you're doing on the planet, right? You're the vessel for the great spirit is what I'm trying to say. Pay attention, okay? So what happens is when, you, when you're writing, that sort of, then, then, then you get involved. You know, all the stuff that you learn, how to this trick and that trick, or, or this knowledge and that knowledge, and you put into your writing, see? But all this time, it takes time you got to think. And the, and the more you think, the easier it is to, well, the more you think, and the more you're in one, one with the great spirit, then the easier it is for the spirit. Okay, forget all that stuff. So anyway, so I come back. Now, the last time I was here, only a few weeks ago, now that's why I'm back because I found out this, this musical group is doing doing this thing. Right? But the last time I was here, for some reason, I don't usually do this, and there was this place that said Free Bird. I said, well, Free Bird, what does that mean? Right? So I went there to check it out. And it is, it's a franchise chicken joint. It's pretty new. They only been in this spot for a year. And I think the company itself, even though it's under a bunch of, it's under Kauai and, just a bunch of one of those megalopolis. They they have a, and then people have franchises and that, you know what it is. But anyway, so it is. It's called, it's called Free Bird, right? But the chicken was so good. I said, well, next time I get the Musen Bird. Actually, I was in Cape Town on Clue Street, someplace, and that that sort of there was a big Free Bird there. It's the first time I had seen it there. there. And uh, the guy, one of the guys I was with, he said, yeah, I had the Free. I said, well, you know, oh, I like that place. I had a a uh, uh, chicken burger and whatever. He said, yeah, I had one too. And so it has a reputation. It can only get better. So I'm there. And then the, the guy the, the guy behind the counter here in Musenberg, he knows me. Everybody knows me. I mean, if I interact with you, you're going to remember me. Anyway, so we have a nice conversation. That's all I was saying to him. I said, well, you know, you get, because I'm more on this thing. I'm not a capitalist, but I know a lot about capitalism. I said, but don't don't you get stock in a country company? Because this company is going to grow pretty big and blah blah blah. He says, no, no. I said, don't don't they, they encourage you? Don't they give you you know tell you something? He said, no, they no they don't. And I'm going like, wait a second. Don't they understand? If you have stock in a co company and you working behind the till or wherever you working behind, 
right? And that means you, you're more invested in the co company, so you're going to really look out for the company. So I'm like, I said, mean, so, well, where's the big guy? I said, well, you know, they come by every once in a while. I said, oh, then he said, but he's due by in a little little while. And it just so happened, back by the, by the, 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 the shop, the shop, the Freebirds, it's next to a Kauai, next to a Starbucks, a bunch of these big things. But he was right there by the ocean, because the ocean is right there, or the sea, whatever you want to call it. So people just chill there sometimes. So I said, oh, that's him over there. Let me talk to him, you know? So the guy was making his way up and said, hey, yo. I didn't say yo. I said, hey, Mr. Na Mr. Naturally had a natural, said naturally t-shirt or a naturally t-shirt. So he comes up. I said, let me ask you a question. I said, you're supposed to be a big muckety muck, you know, this 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 thing was happening here. I said, do do the do the employees get offered like you know, uh, like shares in the company or something like that? I said, I mean, and he says, well, well, no. I said, I said well, no, wait, hold on. I said, do you mean to say that the people don't encourage your you don't don't give like literacy? You you don't have any literacy in your in the company. Look, let me go back. I said, you mean to say that they don't give you shares in the company? And he says, well, so, I, so I said, don't they get shares in the company? And he's sort of hemming and hawing. And I said, no, I mean, you know, you know how you make money. You have, you have the, the, the shareholders, stakeholders, whatever they call them. Then you have the administrator, whatever you have. Then you have the workers. And the only way the workers can make money is if they become stakeholders, shareholders, you know, because that's where the money's at, right? I said, so don't you all... Uh, do that, you know, teach, teach your workers how to get shares or, you know, encourage them or give them a discount, something like that. He says, and you sort of mumble a little bit along with that, right? <laughs> Go like, so I'm trying to figure out, you know, I said, don't they get like, I said, because, you know, the people, the employees that you have, you know, they come from where they come from. There's no financial literacy. You know, you could be teaching finance. Blah, 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 blah. I don't think the boy wanted to talk to me. Anyway. So I got that straight in my head. Now I'm off to something else. Now, see, like I said, I do my work in my head. Now I'm going to say, when I get back, especially when I get back to the bonds, I'm going to say, look, what we need to do, because I, I have a little group that we like, we instigators, let's put it that way. We, we, I'm, I'm teaching them to be instigators. Because it should be, no matter, every time you join one of these, you, people should have financial literacy lessons. If you're going to be, if you're going to live in a capitalist society, then your might as well be, you know, know something about capitalism. That's all I'm saying now. I live in a capitalist society, but I'm not a capitalist, and I'm, I'm not hankering to be. Oh, but, hey, I like that word, hankering. But I don't, be, I don't begrudge any people. You know, money is not my thing. That's all. Look, y'all, y'all need to make you. You know, y'all don't need to make your money. Is what I'm trying to say. That's all I'm saying. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my. Pre this is the Korean burger, which means it has some other some stuff on it, some spice on it. So I'm, a, I'm through talking to y'all, man. I'm, I'm gonna eat my burger, then you know, take a little. Or maybe not take, take a little walk, take a little nap, then I got my concert. I got to check the time, see what time it is, okay? Okay, so I'll talk to you all later. Be well.